Welcome to the second webinar, How to Generate Revenue with Your IoT Device. In the first version of this webinar, Simon Serres, CEO of NIMEA, explained how the NIMEA solution works from a technical point of view. In the second webinar, Simon will explain how it works from a client point of view. With us is his, one of his main clients, um, Felix Niekamp from the, from the company Marantec. I'm Manuela Krul, Managing Director at Startup Bootcamp, Bootcamp Amsterdam. I'm managing the Smart City and IoT program. Startup Bootcamp is a company that helps corporates to innovate and startups and scale-ups to grow. With me today, uh, two special guests, Simon Serres, CEO of Naimia, and Felix Niekamp, um, Sales Director at Marantec. Simon, would you please introduce yourself and explain a little bit about Naimia? Sure. Uh, welcome to all of you. Um, I'm Simon Service, CEO and co-founder of the company. We are doing uh, in this company. We are doing IoT stuff since more than three years now, and uh, we we made a platform. We call it the Namia OS. It's a mainly embedded uh, firmware, generic firmware for intelligent devices, which was also used by. Marantec for a product called Maveo and I'm very happy to have a chat with Felix Nikamp about what we have achieved. So maybe Felix you would like to introduce yourself and your company? Sure, my name is Felix Nikamp. I'm from the company Marantec. Um, I am um, sales manager in the exports department of the company. Um, the company is um, doing in the door and gate operations business and um, producing operators for um, several kinds of private and industrial door applications. Great. And uh, well, you have been working with NIMEA for, for quite some time now. And I understood uh, you are now at a very important point where you're even invited to international uh, events and uh, selected so we will talk about that later uh, but that hasn't gone just in one flow I guess so um, maybe uh, Simon you explain can explain a little bit um, what it took in order to achieve what you have achieved now yeah sure I mean when when we started it was like we were an early company a very young company and we had an idea and we had a software stack they could do some things and we approached Maratec because we saw that uh, they have a portfolio around um, access control systems and, and garage door drives and any, some kind of other drives. And we were anticipating, they are thinking um, they have to expand the portfolio. And actually we were right. So we got in contact with the product management and were initially discussing some things. Um, and the main topics that came up in these early days were how can we achieve a proper time to market, not to deal with a lot of coding, and how can we make a system that is trustworthy, so like make it a very secure uh, device because mainly it's about privacy. And one of the, or the most important point maybe is how can we solve the issue that the new range of Marantec products is compatible with any other modern product to see an ecosystem of devices. And with that questions in mind, we had several um, workshops and then we started just doing it. <laughs> and of course it wasn't uh, a lean flow like waterfall definition and then we just did it. It was a, a long way of learning and exploring. I, I can imagine. So, and uh, in the end, you achieved, uh, yeah, some very impressive products. And last webinar, we talked about it. We also had a roundtable where you explained it. Um, it's a bit technical, but uh, it may help if we can see in practice how it works. So, sure. could, could you show um, us something? I can. I hope this works out nicely, like expected. So, this. This box here is the main product. Um, now it's in white, it's also in black and Mavio branded. It's a 
a typical, it's a gateway actually, a little Linux computer that has some protocols like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC, and Zigbee. So it can access to several other products, third-party products. Um, this is the main hub. And with that, we made the Maveo app. So it's a, the, so can you, you unbox this thing and then you have it running here and you plug it in. And this is the initial setup. When you have this, you can add the box, which is fairly simple. You can connect the new device, which is happening by Bluetooth. So you just discover it. You press the button, you discover the box, then it's connecting to it. And then you can set up this connection. You choose your Wi-Fi connection and you can integrate it. And that's it. Setup is done just within a few seconds, which is very cool already. And yeah. when you have uh, set it up, then you have a list of compatible devices. You can add some. Um, for example, I have uh, here, this is a very cool product from Berlin. It's a, a Nuimo. And here, I have, this is a generic sensor. This is not actually what we build out there, but we can use it for showcases. And you see, I, I programmed a little microservice. This is the purpose of the system. I connected this thing to this thing. And in that case, it's a motion sensor. So when I put some motion into it, then it reacts. In that case, it shows us a heart. So it's a system that connects various kinds of things. And then you can put logical links like microservices on it. And that means we have door locks and garage doors and can find a lot of cool ways how to combine it with other products. Okay, Simon, can I ask you a question? So um, what you now show us is actually the red and the black device that is um, managed by the white device and you can uh, actually manage it through the app on your phone. Is that correct? This is absolutely correct, yeah. I did this before, like you can choose two devices, link it together. I don't show it now, it would be a bit too long. There are other kinds of things. This is a sensor done by Mavio, which is fairly simple. When we connect it, you just put it on top of the box and it shows immediately on the app. So this is a very nice way to link a new device on the box. You just uh, wait for it to be connected and you can give it a name and that's it, a new device is attached to the system and can be used for a series of ideas. Exactly. So uh, for me to understand better, so what you actually are saying is in order to connect a device to the computer, which is now actually represented by this white device, uh, you just um, yeah, link it through Bluetooth and you give it a name and then here you go, you can manage it from your app on your phone. Exactly. The app is the screen of the white device. Right. Of. And that makes it very easy to use IoT devices and to even switch from IoT devices. Now, last time you also explained to me that there is um, yeah, a higher level of security uh, if you do it this way. Can you explain it a little bit? Yeah, well, protocols and like Bluetooth and Zigbee and stuff, this is... Um, let's say from a technical perspective, not always perfect. Any kind of digital communication protocol can be harmful because, uh, I mean, software always has some issues. And for, to, to, to secure it, uh, we, made, uh, we made clear that this white box here has, it has all these communication channels, but the main data that is transferred from the house, outside the house, is very, very secure. So you cannot really hack this white box. This is the most important thing. Yeah. And so it gives you secure access to all of these uh, protocols. And right, and, and, and not to go into the technical details again, but also the communication to and from the white box is secure, right? It, to be honest, it depends on the protocol, but uh, Bluetooth and Zigbee, they are quite secure. Things. Okay, yeah. right, mm. right, yeah. Well, uh, then I have a couple of questions for, uh, for Felix also, because 
actually what I see here is a, a beautiful and successful example of what we call at Startup Bootcamp corporate startup collaboration. And it is very important for corporates to have access to new business models, like uh, Naimia, I can call it a new business model, I guess. And uh, uh, Marantec is a more established company, I could say. Um, uh, so, yeah, how was it to work with a smaller company? Um, it was, yeah, we, we've chosen to partner up with Naimia because um, they have created something um, something new they um, they had in mind the this idea of bringing together um, different devices and um, we were searching for a partner which made for us the possibility to extend over the garage door drive or the door operator and access systems even to to other markets and other devices and to open us and um, with um, with um, Naimia um, the cooperation um, for my opinion was, was very good and direct um, we had the possibility to to communicate um, all all needs um, what what we expected from a system or in which direction we wanted to to um, develop the product um, to to communicate that directly with them um, also um, they had a lot of input into into the whole process so um, even if, if um, the the scale of the two companies is completely different it was a very good cooperation on a on a same level basis yeah, and, and, and it's, a, yeah, it's a win-win situation, I would say. So it sounds, well, as a, a school ex a example of one of the school books, let's say, how to collaborate between a startup and a, and a corporate. But uh, so had you been working with startups before or was this the first experience? Um, for me at Marantec, this was the first experience. Um, um, actually... But immediate quite good and positive uh, uh, yeah experience then that is really good to hear um, so and while you are collaborating you must notice that there is a difference well what I notice when I see corporates and startups working together I notice that sometimes it's dif uh, difficult uh, to collaborate because there's a different speed in both type of companies how was that for Naimia and for Marantec yeah, there is kind of a different speed because in the corporates, normally decision making takes a longer process. Exactly. Um, and um, this was, um, yeah, on on a on a certain level, um, it was possible to feel that, um, even if um, the decision making at um, Marantec is, is on a quite quite fast side as um, there are not too many many hierarchies as in a lot of other companies mm -hmm. um, but it was, was definitely as there is also the quantity of, of employees which are inside the project is totally different so the communication within the company and not only between the companies but within the company um, is yeah more slow inside Marantec then inside the, the Naimia company. Yeah. And yeah, it was possible to feel that. But um, I think we we managed to to bring that on um, yeah to bring that together so um, that we are not running the project on two different speeds. Yeah, it's it's clearly uh, uh, you ha you too have achieved something very successful, and that is really uh, really impressive. So, um, did you come across other difficulties than uh, the difference in speed between the two companies? Well, um, I can say something here. It was a bit difficult. We are always talking about lean startup and those things. Um, 
we kind of ran into the issue of having a lot of uh, different ideas. So we, we made the solution work and running, mm -hmm. and it was perfect. Uh, like in the, of course, it was not a, a mass product when we finished the whole um, the prototype or the, a later prototype stage. And then we kind of ran into the issue of filling it up with features. So it was nice on the one side that we had a lot of ideas and we need this in the app and we could add this feature. And so um, and we didn't really test the features in the market. So we learned that now when, before we add something, we really do the lean startup approach, <laughs> which is not just the saying. So we go out and ask people first, market first and customers first, do you really need it? Mm -hmm. or we just implement what the market says. So this has changed dramatically. I think it costed some time to learn that, but now it's a, it, it, is, it has become reality. <laughs> right, yeah, no, it's an absolutely fantastic example what you, uh, how you work together. And it's also interesting that uh, Felix Juf uh, Marantek was looking for a startup, or how did it go? You were looking for a solution. Did you also consider other solutions or were they hard to find in the market? Or? Um, that was, um, to be honest, not um, that much of, of my business in the beginning, okay. but um, it was not that we were exactly looking for a startup. Um, it was more like the combination of um, the company and the idea that stood behind um, that stood behind Naimia, um, which made it especially uh, interesting for um, the Maveo product. Right. So. Um, so you just and and uh, Simon, how did you get to know Marantek? How did you meet, or did I mean? Well, we were in this phase. We were a very young company, so actually we were contacting the product management of Marantek asking the simple question where they want to go with their portfolio. And then we quickly saw that there is a match between our ideas. But, but I mean, you're based in Austria. Maranta mm -hmm. is based in Germany. Uh, did you do it through cold calling? Yeah, actually this was cold call. I, I think, so I was researching for Mark Helwig. He is a product manager of Maranta. Right. Some, somehow very visible in the internet. <laughs> so. I was contacting him um, by mail, I think, asking the right questions, and then we had a phone call and things get running. Yeah. Oh, because that is that is one important point for a startup to learn: how do you connect to a corporate organization? One thing is how do you work together, and the other thing is how do you actually make the initial contact? So you well, did. It, yeah, yeah we, we were researched like we were scanning the market for companies who, from our perspective might have the need to expand the portfolio to digital oh, um, advanced products. Exactly, exactly. So, and now that you have the initial product, you were even selected, right? Maybe either one of you want to explain about this? Yeah, this is more on my side, maybe. Uh, the IoT Solution World Congress, it's the World Congress <laughs> for IoT products. And mostly it shows IoT platforms, right? So there are hundreds of companies showcasing their platforms, right. but everyone, like a platform itself is not a value. You always need a, a real product, a use case uh, to make real business <laughs> yeah. from IoT. And they have selected 10 top use cases and Maveo, the Maveo product is one of them. So. We are kind of very, very proud because we are there in the very center, in the critical mass of the whole event showcasing Mavio. And that's for both of your companies, a very good achievement and, and well-deserved exposure. So this is the biggest IoT event in the world, I understood. Is that correct? I think so, yeah. It is 14,000 um, visitors. Go. Mm. Yeah, so that's fantastic. So after this event, uh, do you have a roadmap together that you would like to develop more uh, functionalities? Well, it's um, going from P2C to P2P. Maybe Felix is uh, more, he can explain it in simple words, what we are going to do. Sure. 
what we are going to do is um, at the moment um, we already market the Maveo system, which is currently based on a B2C basis. So we are talking to the end customer, to his private application, mm -hmm. um, to manage his smart devices at home on a small level. And we want to bring that up on a bigger scale even and bring it to a, to a business level and to also market it with our business customers. Oh, um, so who is your business customer? Our business customer is um, from the small installer who installs private gates or garage doors up to um, big door manufacturing companies who are buying their operators at us. And what we are interested in is especially um, to get data from the machine um, so to work with that and to improve our products and also to hand a solution to our customer, to our business customer, to make his whole servicing, his installations and um, all his setup more easy and um, easy to control and to access. Right. So you will go from business to consumer to business to business and at the moment you look at uh, smaller or larger companies who install these um, devices. Uh, what is your biggest uh, market at the moment in terms of what type of country are you in? Is it more in Germany or the German speaking countries? And what is your aim? Uh, where do you want to scale up to? Um, Marantec is currently active all over the world. Um, so export is a very big um, and important business for Marantec um, with an export share of approximately 70%. Okay. We start with the Maveo system in the German speaking countries right. and um, or in the in the German border countries, also Denmark, the Netherlands, Belgium and so on. Okay. Um, but we want to expand it to the whole world and um, then after that process, we also want to expand to the B2B level. Right. So you first want to expand in other countries with your B2C model. Is that correct? Yep. And That's then, correct. And when you've done that, you will uh, reach out to more business to business models. Uh, that is correct. Great. Well, uh, yeah, I have nothing to add to this. It sounds like a school example of how do you collaborate between a startup and, um, and a corporate organization uh, you have everything in place. Uh, last time we saw from a technical point of view, it can be uh, quite technical, but uh, the way it's explained today, I think that is easy to understand. Um, if people have questions, where can they find you? Well, um, if they are interested in complex tech or, <laughs> or maybe some ideas of how to make things smart than simon at naimia.io straightforward and felix if the people are more interested about just getting to know about the maveo system how it works and how it can make their yeah system more easy then um, they are free to contact me on f dot nikamp n i e k a m p at marantech.de or they can visit the Maveo page under smartwithmaveo.com. Well, fantastic. I would like to thank you to, for your time for this interview. And uh, yeah, uh, we are coming to the end of these two webinars. So if you would like to uh, see the first one, you can still see it. And the second one, obviously, you just saw. So thank you very much and keep up the good work. Thank you, guys. Enjoy your day. Oh, <laughs> my